Welcome to Experience Preschool Curriculum. Let's get ready for your first day by talking through the first lesson. This month, the thematic study is all about me. The first week, we will be talking about body parts, and today's lesson features about me. So you can see a week in summary here on pages four to five. This is the activity skills chart. Each lesson runs horizontally across the page, and you can see that every day you have the same collection of types of activities from circle time, art, small group game, tabletop, music and movement, a book, and a science experiment. These activities encourage children to apply and use different skills in their play, and those skills are defined here. You can watch the video about the skills activity chart to learn more about how to use this chart and information. If this is your first time using Experience Preschool Curriculum, we have a tour of the teacher guide video to explain step-by-step all the features of this guidebook, and I encourage you to check that out. For now, we're going to skip over and find lesson one. All right, so here's lesson one, and notice how each section in the lesson plan book is labeled. These little orange labels are the same every day. So once you're familiar with them today, tomorrow you will know exactly where to find your various activities. This lesson plan gives you the flexibility to weave these activities throughout the natural flow of your day. You will see circle time, the creative corner, small group game, story time, little steam station reminder, tabletop activity, and a large group closing time, which includes your music and movement. So let's talk a minute about routines. Try to follow a similar routine every day, and this way children will feel safe and be ready to learn. In the morning, play the circle time song that you can find online in member resources. If you play that same song every day, it will function like a trigger, and as soon as your children hear it, they will quickly run over to the rug or wherever you have decided to do circle time. This works in a classroom setting and even at home if you are homeschooling your child. To help children transition and be comfortable, we also suggest you do a predictable routine every single morning when you get started. For example, after the song, then begin with a calendar activity. You can have your child find the piece that matches today's date and invite them to tape it onto the calendar. So every month you will get a new calendar with new calendar day pieces. Now you're ready to introduce the topic of the day. You can show the daily discovery poster called All About Me and ask children questions about their preferences, such as what is your favorite food? What animal do you like? During discussions, write down whatever your children say so they can see their spoken words become printed words. This lays the foundation for writing and reading in the future. If you have a child who doesn't like to talk, then ask them to show you. Can you show me what animal you love the most? And just get silly with your children and act out different animals. Maybe the child will mimic your movements and participate in the discussion that way. So the goal of the discussion is to both introduce the topic of the day, um, but also new vocabulary, and also to help your child feel safe and ready to learn. This should be a no-pressure discussion. Typically, after sitting and talking, even just for a little while, children are ready to get up and move. This community challenge activity invites children to work together, share space, and accomplish a task together. Here's how. Put a large piece of paper on the floor. If you don't have a really big piece of paper, just tape together like four pieces of paper to make a big paper. Invite each child to pick their favorite color crayon. You should go ahead and grab a color too. Now, everyone draws and decorates the paper however desired. After everyone is done, ask the children questions such as, did you have enough space? How did you feel about sharing the paper? How can you make sure everyone feels included and has space in our room the rest of this week? (laughs) So this simple activity will help children be considerate of others as well as build a sense of belonging. 
After circle time, many educators will open up centers or stations and invite children to move freely about the room. This is a great time to set up an art station as well as your STEAM station so that children have multiple choices of where to go and what to investigate. On pages 10 and 11 in your teacher guide, you can find here eight common stations that many teachers will set up in their room. And then on page 11, we feature five new STEAM station ideas that you could set up in your science area throughout the week. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. So remember, we're working with preschoolers. So even simple activities like looking in a mirror or feeling cooked spaghetti noodles and comparing them to our brain (laughs) or using blocks to build a skeleton, these can be very exciting for young children to problem solve. While some children are exploring STEAM stations, other children may want to make an art project. For the project today, children will make their own self-portrait. Now, there are two types of art experiences in our curriculum. One is called Invitation to Create. So notice the logo here. This means that the child will reflect on a masterpiece, like this one, and then be inspired to create whatever they desire with the materials that you set out. It's a very process-focused experience. The other type of art experience is called make and play. You can see this logo here on lesson two. That means that they will make a prop or a tool that they can then use in their play. They will learn simple engineering, planning, and problem-solving skills as they make their props. In your lesson one bag, you'll find a paper called My Creative Mind with five little notes that you can cut up and send home each day with the child's art project. This will help parents understand the value of what children made today and also give them a tip on something they could ask the child. If you are homeschooling your child, I recommend at the end of the day, maybe during dinner, bring out the child's artwork, show it to them again, and ask this prompt question on the creative mind note. This will help your child build memory skills and recall skills, as well as nurture their ability to communicate and retell their memories. By the time you do circle time and an art project, your children may be getting wiggly and need a break. This is a great time to transition to some outdoor play. There's so much learning that can happen outside in nature, and we give you two outdoor activity ideas per week. This week features these two ideas, backward challenges and my body chalk tracing. For backward challenges, put a cone or maybe even an empty water bottle somewhere in the yard. Children will walk backwards as fast as they can to the object. The other activity is to just take some chalk outside and take turns tracing around each other's body. You could also trace shadows. So each week, we give you two new ideas to do outside, and you could keep these handy for repeating by simply cutting them out and taping them onto index cards. When you come back inside, you will want to wash up and have some lunch or a snack, and pretty soon everyone will feel a little exhausted and need some quiet time. Reading a story is a great way to relax. Invite children to sit down with you as you read the suggested story. You can use these tips for how to introduce and read a book with preschoolers. We recommend eight storybooks each month. Two of these books are included in your kit. The other six books you can find at a local library, or if you don't have access to a library, maybe check out online for a YouTube read aloud. The I Am Enough right here is an example of a recommended book. It is not included in your kit. Of course, you can also substitute this book for any story that you might have on your shelf. You will repeat the books multiple times in a week. It's our goal to show you different techniques for reading with young children. These prompts give you ideas on how to introduce a book, work on concepts of print, and strengthen reading comprehension skills. After reading and some quiet time, children will love to play again, and they can choose where to go and what to do. As children explore your various stations, you might like to invite three or four children to come over and do a small group game with you. Now, these activities are designed to be able to be done with about four children, or you could even do them one-on-one. 
For lesson one, the small group activity is called Measure Me and works on both measurement and social skills. Begin by setting out a basket of blocks and children can freely begin to stack them. And as they're doing that, ask them to predict how many blocks tall do you think you are? Then invite one child to lay down on the floor and everyone will work together to line up blocks beside that child. Then count the blocks. This is a great opportunity to listen and see how high children can count on their own and then help as needed to determine how many blocks tall each child is. For small group games, we always explain how to simplify it or make it more challenging with the tips provided here. Okay, let's talk about tabletop activities. Tabletop activities are experiences that children can do independently. So while some children are participating in the small group game, others may want to come over and do this tabletop activity. These are also great games to introduce on one day and then go put them on a shelf so that children later in the week can grab and go play on their own. For this tabletop, you will find the name tags in your lesson bag. Then gather some paper, tape, and craft sticks of your own. Write the letters A to Z on the craft sticks. Children will search for the letters in their name and um, place them next to the letters. If you don't have craft sticks, you can just use little strips of paper that you cut. You could also make a pocket with the paper by just folding it in half and then taping the name tag on top of it. Notice how this activity has a star next to it. This is your featured star learning game of the day. That means you will use this activity to record an assessment of the day. To help you assess the child's developmental level, we include a learning game sheet in your assessment bundle. Find the game with the same number as the lesson day. So lesson game one for lesson one. Now see how these two titles match. Now you can hang this learning game sheet on the wall so your families also know what the featured game is and what the featured skill is for the day. Under the title of the activity in the teacher guide, the skills learned are clearly listed. Also, here on the learning game sheet, the same skill is listed and defined for both you and the parents. See an example of the child playing this game by scanning the QR code, then you can watch that video. It is also a great idea to scan and watch the level below and above the preschool level so you have an idea on how to make the activity more simple or more challenging based on where you are finding your children are at. To learn more about how to use all the assessment tools in your kit, we have other videos all about um, assessment and all of these tools, so check those out. To to set up the STEAM station today, you could either set it up in the writing area or in your science area. I like to print out the question provided here um, from member resources and then hang it low on the wall next to the table where I'm going to set up then my mirror. And I'm also going to put um, some paper on clipboards. Then children can look in the mirror, draw their face or other body parts. And you can also hang up these Uh, vocabulary word strips so that the older pre-k students could even try writing and labeling their drawing. The word strips are available in the back of your teacher guide to cut out and hang if desired. Well, it's been a really great day and it's always nice to end with another group circle. So we call that closing time. Use these reflection prompts if you would like some help on how to facilitate a closing reflection time with your children. Children love to celebrate what they did and learned and know that you also enjoyed sharing that day with them and that you're excited to see them tomorrow. As part of closing time, we always include a music and movement experience and the movement songs encourage children today to build gross motor coordination. So today you'll play track one on your included music CD. If you prefer digital music, the song is also available online in member resources. So as the music's playing, you can call out a body part. And then the children will only move that body part as they dance. For example, as the music is playing, you might call out neck. And then they're only moving their necks to the music. 
About a minute later, you could call out a different body part like legs. So have a great first day as you experience preschool with us, and we are so excited to learn all month long with you.